Welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for August 2023. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in just three minutes. Starting with the .NET 8 preview updates, we've got some nice new features for system.txt.json, some cool speed ups for code gen, and some newly supported platforms for the ASP.NET composite containers. In the ASP.NET updates, we have some uh, new anti-forgery middleware with integration for Blazor, a bunch of other new Blazor stuff in this update as well, and some cool speed ups using interceptors. Mayoni Stevens blogs about dynamically adapting to application size. That's a new improvement for the GC in .NET 8 with a decrease to heap size of up to 70%. We have some new tools updates. So first of all, Visual Studio 17.7 is out. Some nice stuff there, including automatic decompilation of external .NET code. We also have a preview of Visual Studio 17.8 with some nice razor tools improvements. The HTTP file support is improved to include externalizing uh, variables into JSON files. There's also support for externalizing to, into other secret sources, including user secrets and Key Vault. There's an announcement of Visual Studio for Mac retirement, so it'll be supported for the next year. And there was an announcement of a Unity extension for Visual Studio code with some nice editor integration. In community blog posts, we have a blog post from Khalid Abu Hakma about .NET 8 interceptors uh, with a nice kind of simple illustration here. We have a blog series from Jimmy Bogard where he goes deep on real world migration of .NET framework to .NET Core. And we have this nice uh, post in a series from Andrew Locke. Here he's looking at keyed services. So he shows a before case where you're kind of limited here and an after case where you can use keyed services. Finally, we have a exciting blog post from Mahul here talking about the upcoming uh, .NET Comp. So that is November 14th through 16th. Mark your calendars and get ready for the .NET 8 release. That wraps up this month. All the links are in the description below.